Thank you, Megan. Parents are getting more school choice in Florida. Governor Ron DeSantis just signed a bill that would increase the amount of public school funding going to private and charter schools by about $200 million. Eight on your side, political reporter Evan Donovan joining us now outside Plant High School to explain. Evan. Good evening, Keith. With this bill, the legislature expands the scholarship and voucher program to thousands more families. They now have the unique ability many other American families don't. They can take the funds that all taxpayers pay and put them to whatever school they want. Damaris Allen Bridges is the former president of the Hillsborough PTSA. She opposes this bill because it gives private and charter schools more money with little oversight over what they're teaching. She also says it provides very little oversight to how parents use the money. So I could opt to homeschool my kids and then I could get a card with basically $7,000 plus. I can choose to use that on services for my child or I can use it to put it towards his college education. House Bill 7045 does allow some voucher and scholarship funds to go towards the prepaid college program. It also combines the Gardner and McKay scholarships into the larger Family Empowerment Scholarship and raises the income eligibility of that program by about 25%. So now families earning up to $100,000 can get a scholarship. We really believe that uh, empowering parents to be able to have the widest variety of, of educational choices for their kids uh, is a recipe for success. Families also no longer have to go to public school first before being eligible for these scholarships. Some families love the school choice. Brian Boliard sits on the board of a private school in Tampa where his child attended. He says, I believe parents have the best understanding of their child's well-being and should have the choice to put their child in any school they want, public, private, or charter. The law goes into effect the 1st of July, so some families hoping they can use some of these funds for next school year. Live in Tampa, Evan Donovan, 8 on your side.